Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our eighth public meeting for testimonials for the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. It's a public meeting we have once a month, the second Monday of every month. And today is Monday, July 10th, 2017, where you can share all of your wonderful testimonials that you've experienced with the Keshe technology, both uh, health or MegGrav or whatever you want to share, Gantz's and or souls enlightening. So I'm your host, Flint Mulhausen, and also uh, Danny Mose with us tonight as host. Hello, Flint. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming and sharing with us tonight. So I'm looking forward to hear from you. And let's see who wants to start for us. Yeah, any language. Um, don't have mm -hmm. to be English. It can be any, any language that you're comfortable speaking. We'll find someone to translate. Yeah, it can be Chinese. Flint's going to translate for you. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> as good as Google can do. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed. Um, I noticed Roland being here, and I know Roland usually has something for us. Roland, can you hear us? Yeah, natürlich kann ich euch hören. Hallo. Hi, hi. Roland, um, I remember you do understand English very well, yeah. but um, you prefer to have somebody translate it from German into English. Is that right? Vollkommen richtig. Ich bitte darum, ja. Okay, great. <laughs> Brilliant. Roland. Okay. What do you have for us? Yeah, also, um, was zum aktuellen äh, letztes Meeting hatte doch dieser Benjamin aus Österreich ähm, seinen kleinen Generator erklärt, mit dem er diesen Heuschnupfen bei sich besiegt hat. Könnt ihr euch daran erinnern? Um, last meeting we had Benjamin with us, who had built a small generator, which he was using for, uh, for allergies. Ja. Yeah. Und ähm, ich habe das jetzt auch nachgebaut, eingesetzt und ich kann das bestätigen, was der junge Mann sagt. Also Benjamin hat damit absolut recht gehabt. Ich habe ähm, auch bei einem, der sehr, sehr stark Heuschnupfen Probleme hatte, speziell eigentlich ähm, ähm, sehr rote, brennende Augen. Ähm, so, nach einer Roland, Sitzung bereits... Sorry, ja. Roland. Roland um, <lacht> copied the, 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 the mini-generator that Benjamin had built. And he says he can confirm it. It works well with allergies, with pollen allergies, yeah. where people had red eyes. Yeah. Und äh, bereits nach einer Sitzung, und die dauert so um die sechs bis sieben Minuten maximal eigentlich, ähm, äh, ist das bei ihm nahezu weg. Also wir haben jetzt nicht jetzt bei uns das tollste Wetter gehabt. Mm -hmm. ähm, es waren trotzdem vier, fünf Tage. An denen hat er jetzt nichts gehabt. Wir werden es noch sehen. Aber an den Tagen war komplett frei, beschwerdefrei bei ihm. So he had only used it on somebody for one session for about seven minutes. And um, that was his, it. And the person hasn't had any allergies since. And he said, oh, although the weather was like it, so he should have had problems, but he didn't. Ja, und um, ich habe das jetzt auch weiter eingesetzt. Allerdings jetzt uh, müssen wir erst auf die Ergebnisse die nächsten Tage warten, weil ich das erst heute gemacht habe. Um, uh, da geht es um, um Angstneurose und sowas und uh, wir werden sehen, ob es auch dort hilft. Okay, so and Roland says he's also using it for, um, for other symptoms like uh, phobias, anxiety attacks. So, yeah. but he's waiting on results to come back. Genau. So, um, Roland, um, for all those who have not seen the experiment that Benjamin did, would you be able to describe it or do you have a picture or something for us? Oh, er hat, er hat äh, bei uns ins, ins Netz, also das heißt jetzt auf die äh, Cache Foundation äh, Germany Seite hat er das Ganze mal gestellt gehabt, aber ich glaube, das wird jetzt zu weit führen, das zu suchen, aber ich mache es nachher, wenn jemand anders was erklärt und ich zeige es nachher nochmal. Okay, ich, so... Ich das weiter. Da kannst du gucken, wie das äh, veröffentlicht so Benjamin has put his testimonial on the Kesha Foundation site and Roland is trying to, to uh, find it while we 
continue here with our testimonials. That's great. Thank you very much. Gerne. Vielleicht kommt auch Benjamin selber noch wieder. Das wäre okay. auch schön. Maybe Benjamin is going to join us later on. Ah, okay. So I do remember that he was using bottles and coils and he had a small mini reactor as well. Yeah, like genau. A ventilator with a ball on top. But okay. yeah, we might hear from him later. Thank you very much, Roland. Gerne. Ich habe noch etwas anderes, was ich euch erzählen kann. Yeah, something Sorry. else you want to share? Sure. Okay, yeah. Und zwar geht es um meinen Hund. Ich hatte vor ein paar Wochen, das glaube ich schon mal gesagt, ich hatte einen Besuch hier von von einem Hundebesitzer, der beim Tierarzt war, da hat sich herausgestellt, dass der Hund äh, Prostatakrebs hat und ähm, sollte gleich eingeschläfert werden, was der Besitzer nicht konnte, emotional gesehen in dem Moment, hat dann auf dem Rückweg bei mir angerufen und ähm, das habe ich letztes Mal schon erzählt, ich will euch nur sagen, ähm, sieht alles weiterhin perfekt auf, aus, dem Hund geht richtig gut. Ich werde also wahrscheinlich dann beim nächsten Mal berichten können, was bei dem nächsten Ultraschall rauskommt. Aber so wie es aussieht, haben wir wahrscheinlich richtigen Erfolg. Okay, fantastic. So Roland was, uh, he mentioned uh, somebody having a dog with a prostate cancer, and I remember you were, you were talking about it in the in the German testimonial meeting, wasn't it? Das kann sein, ja, das yeah. weiß ich nicht. Mehr. Ich kann es auch gerne hier nochmal genau erklären. Sure. Was ich I remember habe, it was a dog uh, who had prostate cancer, and uh, but I can't remember what you did. If you did patches or if you gave him water, and if so, which which water it was, if you don't mind. Okay. Also wir haben als erstes ähm, haben wir ihm natürlich ein, ein Patch gemacht, ein großes, auf das er sich immer legt. Das heißt, wir das mache ich bei vielen Tieren so. Wir legen das dann äh, in eine Decke sozusagen rein, dass er nicht auf dem Plastik liegt natürlich. Oder was auch geht, wenn sie so einen Korb haben, dass man es unter so eine kleine Matratze, wenn die nicht so dick ist, reinlegt. Okay, so um, using a patch underneath the blanket of the dog or in his basket. Yeah, und das ist, das ist gefüllt mit CO2 uh, und uh, Zink. Uh, ich gebe dann oftmals ein bisschen um, Kupfer mit dabei, habe ich aber in dem Fall nicht. So there's CO2 and zinc oxide and occasionally he puts copper oxide in there. But not in this case. So is it CO2 and zinc oxide water or is it a water. bit of guns? Okay, only the water. No, no, no water. And um, das gleiche ganz Wasser habe ich ihm gegeben, dass er eben täglich uh, 30 Milliliter um, direkt ins Maul spritzt. Also nicht verdünnt dann nochmal in Wasser, sondern direkt gibt auf 2x15 also. And additionally to the patches, Roland is giving him twice a day. 15 milliliters of the same mixture, so in total 30 milliliters per day. Und das dritte, das hat er auch nicht die ganze Zeit jetzt durchgeführt, sondern am Anfang ist, es war vielleicht auf dem ersten Gedanken etwas unangenehm, aber da das Gewächs ja den Enddarm abdrückt und es dafür den Hund auch Probleme gab bei seinem großen Geschäft zu machen, habe ich gesagt, er soll ihm nachdem der Hund sein Geschäft gemacht hat, eben praktisch dann wirklich über den Enddarm auch dort eine, eine Größenordnung von 5 bis 6 Milliliter ähm, direkt aufs Gewebe dort sprühen, reinspritzen mit so einer kleinen Spritze. Also direkt in den Anus. Okay. So um, Roland is saying that, that additionally because of the fact that the dog's cancer was, was put in pressure onto the intestines, that he, he additionally gave him like six milliliters of the yeah. same mixture, um, basically. Einmal, einmal am Tag. Yeah. So, und uh, wie gesagt, das Ergebnis ist jetzt so weit, dass er um, schon nach 14 Tagen überhaupt gar kein Problem mehr hatte, sein großes Geschäft zu verrichten, was vorher schon sehr viel Schmerzen bei ihm verursacht hat. Das hat man beim Hund auch gesehen im Gesicht und an den körperlichen Anstrengungen. So within 14 days, the dog was fine to go out and do, do his business without, without being in pain. So he says that was visible and noticeable. Und der zweite interessante Punkt ist, ähm, mit Boston der Krebs wird auch ein Hund natürlich inkontinent. Ähm, und hier ist es auch so, dass die Wegstrecken, die er zurücklegen kann, jetzt schon größer werden. Und was sehr interessant ist, ist natürlich, dass er seine Blase jetzt wieder entleert. Das heißt, der Urin stinkt auch nicht mehr so. Ne? Das ist ja auch bei Prostatakrebs immer das Problem, dass die, die Blase nicht entleeren und dadurch 
diese, diese Giftanteile sozusagen begrößert wird im Urin und äh, das dann dementsprechend stinkt. Und äh, das wird jetzt auch wieder los. Das heißt, also, das komplette Entleeren funktioniert auch wieder. Okay. Ja, yeah, Roland is saying that um, especially with, with prostate cancer there is a problem um, to hold the water and um, also that the bladder cannot be fully emptied. So there is a, a certain smell, um, a foul yeah. smell coming, coming off and that um, has stopped now. You were saying yeah. within two weeks, yeah? Ja, das war noch zwei Wochen alles. Jetzt ist er weiter sozusagen in der Behandlung mit diesen Dingen. Das heißt also, der macht das äh, weiter mit seinem Hund. Wir haben jetzt abgesprochen, dass er etwa in ja, jetzt zwei Wochen äh, eine Nachuntersuchung macht, eine äh, Unterschalluntersuchung und dann werden wir das Ergebnis haben. Fantastisch, ja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So within the next two weeks there is an ultrasound scan and, and uh, they're looking forward now to see how, how this whole cancer thing has developed or not developed, to put it that way. Genau. So brilliant, yeah, that'd be, be great to hear. Um, you were saying within the next two weeks you have more, more results, yeah? Ja, ich habe dann mehr, ich nehme auch viele verschiedene andere Sachen auch angefangen jetzt. Ähm, wir haben einen anderen Hund, der hat an der Milchleiste äh, mit das, mit das Tasen. Auch da werden wir jetzt sehen, ob wir da dran kommen, ob das funktioniert. Aber das, äh, das ist noch nicht so weit, die waren jetzt ein paar Tagen jetzt bei mir. Also das äh, gibt also etliche interessante Sachen, wo die äh, Schulmedizin auch bei den Tieren die Medizin einfach aufgegeben hat. Ne? Okay, so Ron is saying he's, he's also looking after a few few other animals um, that um, that the, the school medicine has has given up on and um, he's looking forward to to share that with us maybe the next time is it fantastic that's brilliant thank you very much Roland and uh, yeah if you come uh, along any other pictures additional pictures we are very open and yeah. love to see muss ich sehen, also äh, ich werde so Hunde normalerweise oder so nicht fotografieren, denn äh, das siehst da nichts ne, von außen und so weiter. Na, okay, you think it's too difficult to take pictures because you can't, ja, can't see kann, anything. Ja, da kannst du nichts machen zum Beispiel. Ja. Na, ähm, ansonsten ich halt, ich wieder gerne, das war es jetzt erstmal von mir. Ja, ich Wonderful. denke, das ist das, das Wichtigste ja. erstmal. Brilliant, thank you so much, Roland. Ja, ja. Beautiful to hear that. Thank you very, very much. So, do we have anybody else who would like to share their experiences or somebody else's experiences or animal treatments or processing, we call it. We're not calling it treating, not treatment. Is there anyone who would like to come forward? Just open your microphone and and share with us. Hello, Danny. This is John here. Hello, uh, John. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well, very well. Uh, you remember about... Let me see. Lower this. Um... About three weeks ago, uh, Caroline showed us a, a bottle made out of a wine bottle with a serpentine inside, made out of glass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. I made one, but with a plastic bottle and uh, a hose inside. The difference is that it's uh, a continuous uh, hose inside. It's sort of a, an infinite uh, um, figure, so what you call it? Uh, infinity loop, kind of? Exactly, it's infinity mm -hmm. loop, that's mm -hmm. it. Uh, I could show you the picture. Yes, if you have one. Yes. I'll I've... see if Flint is going to allow us to show that. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Let me see. Here, what to share? Uh, no. to not, yeah, fine. Oh, which was which? I've got to go. 
forget now how the eleven thirty nine. How do I put out the pic up the picture on the uh, put it on the screen, and it takes it automatically? I think you open your picture first, and then you. Yeah, click I've got the my screen. picture. Uh, ah. Okay, then yeah, then do share screen yeah. button at the bottom, uh, and then pick I the picture. The wrong. I'll get it back now. Uh, where's the bottle here? Should be green one, share screen now. Yeah. yeah, I did press that one. Mm -hmm. And then you just find your picture application in the uh, list the of programs there. Well, I got it open on the visualizer, uh, window visualizer. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can't see it then. No, you have to um, share screen with Zoom and pick that window visualizer application. Yeah, it said yes. <clears throat> I take me back. Highlight, to, you highlight green what you want to have. Ah, shared. yeah. It's, I've got the, <laughs> the Keisha Foundation. Uh, Don't well, worry, John. We learn something new every day. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> I did some, some of this about two months ago, and I can't remember. But... Uh, Let's see, I've marked it. Uh, I compartir, that's it. That's uh, the problem, it's all in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem with me, but the thing is, I'm accustomed to using all the programs in English, but some of them come along in Spanish. My computer's somewhat slow. Ah, there we are. Can you see this now? Yeah, something is starting here. Yes. Yeah, we can there see we are. Cubes and well, the that's a, uh, how I joined the both ends of the, the of the of the um, hose okay. inside the bottle. Now let's go to the next picture. To take us some time. There we got it. Let's straighten it up. There we got okay. it. That's quite a quite a long tube you have inside there. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty yeah, it's nice. got about three meters. Not bad. And it's it's a hose mm -hmm. that's got gans in it and water, uh, plasmatic water. What guns and did well, you use, there, John? Pardon? What guns? What type of guns did you did you use? Uh, CO two and zinc, of the typical mm -hmm. guns we all all use practically. So uh, the thing is, what was the objective of this? Just putting water inside and using it, I imagine. But I thought of the idea of simplifying the the glass bottle with the glass. Mm -hmm. There's well, spiral inside. Go the, ahead. The, the idea would be to reverse that. You have the Gans or plasma water in the big bottle and the tube is empty and you breathe through the tube as it gathers the fields from the Gans, but then the outside of the tube would have to be nano-coated. Ah, that was for breathing then. For breathing oh, then, I, yeah, yeah. I, I missed that part of uh, the lesson. <laughs> As, yeah, I've got so but, many but, people interrupting me. That, uh, but on the but, other hand, if you, if you put... If I put water inside the bottle... Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll turn it into magic. liquid. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll energize the water, kind of like putting uh, uh, your, your test oil, tube inside. Or, yeah. yeah, like coil or test tube inside the water, yeah. Would it maybe also work, I'm just looking at it, um, to make another extra small hole and and breathe through that? Put a little tube in there or a straw and just still breathe through it? Yeah, or just put a big, uh, uh, larger hose from the top right down to the bottom so it'll the, the air will come in through the top and go out through the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they'll have or to you go... Could or you could put oh. flowers in there too, wouldn't, wouldn't it be? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's an idea. We've got to complete it, but uh, I think it was yeah. a pretty nice work. Yes, I remember the glass bottle that, that looked really very, very beautiful on the picture. So, yeah, the um, only thing is that spiral had a cork on each end, so it, you had nothing moving. This sort of liberates the gans inside the hose and it could continually twirl around if it wants to. Yeah. So, so we see you again trying another experiment the other way around. Won't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a friend who was going to, he came along at one o'clock, or what, two hours ago. And uh, he you know, said he'd come along again. Uh, he speaks only Spanish, so. But he had a problem with his legs. He couldn't walk. He could only walk about three centimeters at a time sideways. This was about four or five months ago. And now he's. Uh, got rid of all the pains and all his uh, problems with the legs and he, he walks over 80 uh, blocks a, a, a day. Wow. And oh, yes. Uh, wow. Yeah. That and would be fantastic. nice testimonial, yes. If he's, what, what, if he's what, showing up later on. Yeah, he may show up again. It all depends on the, mm -hmm. on the um, buses that sure, sure. bring him along here. Yeah. Sorry, what, Jalal, you were... What he used for that? Uh, for the bottle? No, for your friend. Ah, just Gans water. But uh, I don't, I don't give the people only thirty or sixty centimeters, cubic centimeters. I give them two or three liters, and some bring, take twenty liters at a time. I've got a lady which has uh, epileptic had epileptic fits, and she takes uh, thirty liters every four days. Wow. And, uh, is she every, bathing in it or is she, is she, is she, is she, <laughs> she does thirsty? all sorts of things with it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. And, and that would uh, be CO2 she, water, yeah? Or would you yeah, mix it? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, it it's, has zinc in it also. So, I mean, we can't separate them, can we? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. difficult. And uh, she used to have a dead leg fits every now and again. And every time she got one, she would be 15 days in bed. Uh, she, her last epileptic fit was in last December, and when she got this fit, she didn't have any pain or had no problem whatsoever. So she's yeah, very happy with all this. That's nice to hear, yes. You know, John, uh, I think you can actually separate the zinc from the CO2. Yes, yeah, so putting the... the the what do you want to call it? The <laughs> la tonne, the, the zinc or the copper inside of the plastic bags. Yes, I haven't got down to that yet. No, with no, the no, glasses no. and all the, no, the no, bottling wait. of the water, <laughs> practically I mean, no I time. Mean, no, John. I mean, when when you when you make the CO two, there is yeah. um, um, some uh, zinc on it. Yes. And yeah. when you wash that uh, ganses, and the all of us in the beginning, when when we wash the ganses, there is some of the ganses floating, you know. Yeah. All of us have that. And this floating gans is pure zinc floating up. Uh huh. Well, that's a good idea. Good data. I hadn't that one but i i've had about two or ten liters of gans and uh i've given quite a bit away and uh i have uh more um uh, what do you want it in the big tank which i've got a hundred liter tank where i have all the the uh, this place and i'm looking for this tank so you could have a see it. Let me see. Where is it? Ah, there we are. That's the 100 liter tank. 
and I keep the, the GANs inside the jar. Uh, what do you call it? The, you, have to, um, you have to share the screen again. Or share that ah, picture fine. that you pulled up because that picture is in a different application. I opened it with the same one. Well, uh, let me see. How do I? Just hit new share. That? New share at the bottom and yeah. new picture. I have to close this. Oh, my Zoom has disappeared. I wrote it on my other computer, but not on this one. I'll have to open my Zoom again. So, well, I'll liberate the microphone and you could, anybody else can have a, a go at it. Okay, yeah, thank you. Anybody have a oh, but I, question? I can't, you, you will have to close my microphone. Because I, I haven't got my picture okay. open. Okay, we'll shut you up. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Benny. <laughs> Anybody else like to share anything? Or show a picture or have something beautiful to to show us, to tell us? Yeah, and, and uh, if uh, someone who is drinking this uh, gases, or uh, I mean the liquid plasma, what he is feeling, how he's doing in the days, it's not a matter of uh, it's, uh, only illness and recovery. Yeah. Okay, I can add my plasma fields experience. Great. I decided to take some time off from the internet, but the plasma fields of the Kesh family are too strong and they actually pull you back in to keep participating in this huge um, exchange that we're all doing to elevate our souls and elevate the souls of others. So the plasma fields are invisible often, but the love that is within the education group, the core group, the universal care, all the people and supporters of the Cash Foundation, that in itself is an incredible plasma field. And I just want us to give recognition to how powerful it is, because it certainly pulled me back in from a internetless world, which I thought I was going to embark on for weeks, but it wasn't possible. I missed everybody too much. So there we go. You cannot keep away from us. <laughs> That's correct. That is 100% correct, Jalal. I love we very much. Yeah. Thank you, Liberty. And just for those who, who don't know um, what we're talking about, Liberty is a student with the Kesha Foundation. And um, she's also part of the Transcriber team. So she took a, a little break, but um, couldn't stay away from the plasma. plasma. Yes, and I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. No, you're okay. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Liberty. Thank you. You're most welcome. As as Mr. Cash always saying, he, that is uh, 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 a virus love. It is. It really is, and there's no stopping it. No, no. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Do we have somebody who wants to go next? I have seen a lot of uh, beautiful experiments also on the social media. And I know that a few of you are in here in the group. So feel free to share before I call your name. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> I think you will have to. <laughs> so yeah, let us hear from you. Maybe they are shy, you know? Yeah, must be. Anyone even from the German community? So if, you, if you're not comfortable with speaking English yourself, um, don't worry, you can use your own language and I'll help you. Yeah, Zagmal. 
<laughs> yeah, or Jalal is going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Paul here as well. Maybe Paul has something to share because he does great experiments. Paul, can you hear us? Maybe, maybe Paul has internet problems there. Yeah, Paul, you there? This is going to be a very, very short testimonial meeting today. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> but um, maybe we can wait a little bit and if you have... Um, if you have the files I sent you earlier, Flint, from the German. Okay. I have a question. Has sure. anybody done the experiment with the, the coil inside that pipe, the big pipe in the middle of a, a house that the Chinese talked to us, us, to us, us about? Remember about three weeks ago. Can you expand on that just a little bit, John? It was sort of the, the thing I made in the bottle, but in a bigger size, and it had a uh, it, it, its influence. It was about three meters in radius, and you could put it inside in the middle of your home. I'm afraid I must have missed that class, so I, I can't respond to that. But has anybody else tried that? No, the, the description was fantastic. That's why it's funny nobody caught that. <laughs> I, I, I was, my idea was to try out with a bottle and then make one, a bigger one, and have inside in the middle of the house. But uh, well, I missed some of the details, so I have to, I have to go back to the video. Well, you know, when it inspires you, that's your next mission, right? <laughs> so I look forward to seeing what you create. Yes. Yes. By the way, Libby, how's your nose getting on? Well, it's actually doing pretty good. The scab came off, which in the scab had been on for a long time, probably. Well, I guess it was the first week in May when we came back to class. So, wow, a month and a bit. It, stayed on i don't know if it was the full let's say six weeks but it just came off this morning and it didn't bleed when it came off normally it would bleed <clears throat> and, um there is another layer for me i'm feeling like it is healing tremendously and um i'm sticking with what i know i also know that i no longer have the perception of people being in shock when they see it possibly most likely because i'm no longer in shock when i see it so any shock they may have and they say oh what happened to your nose i can say well actually it's really getting better it's a dandy eh and that way it takes the um everybody has an opinion about how i should treat it so it, it removes that or if they want to give it you know i, I don't really um look for others now to help me heal something that is healing and it's a process so it's looking great to me and to my roommates and i don't seem to be scaring people away anymore so it's good good uh, i've got an experience of my own about three weeks ago i skidded on uh, a, a polished floor with the rubber shoes with just uh, with wet wet floor and I broke a rib and uh, sort of uh, affected the ligament on my right knee. My, my rib was cured in two days and the ligament was practically cured, practically cured in two or three days. It only bothers me a bit when one doesn't move a leg uh, for quite a while. But then after that, there's no problem whatsoever. I can walk or do whatever I need. Whatever I please. 
Well, I can certainly say that the CO2 GANs and the um, zinc have helped me. I did have a recurring sciatic problem. And one day I just said, okay, enough is enough. And I wore a pad in the front and a pad in the back. And I kept it on 48 hours. I have not had a problem in that part of my body at all since then. So it's very, it's an amazing um, science. These scans are very powerful. And the most powerful is still our intention. It's our intention to heal, our intention that um, we'll get a better result than um, if we don't have that intention. Beautiful, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Can I share with you something? Sure. I have a story. And this is an old story and I would like to share it with you. This is about the goodness and what you do you will get it later. And this is, I think, the whole thing of Mr. Cash teaching that you make what's good and it will come back to you. So if you allow me, I can speak about it, Danny. Please do, Jalal. Okay. <clears throat> this story happens in in the 80s, my brother was in army and uh, he forced to have to to get in uh, in war. You know, there is in that time we have war between Iraq and Iran. And my brother, um, the, uh, the situation put him in a place that he must fight for his life. But because he is a lovely person and he, he don't make such a, a, a killing or a, 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 this, a, some, this kind of a, a hate, he's, he's a lovely man. And when he's shooting, He's shooting in the sky. He's not shooting in, in, in the, at, at the soldiers. And he sweared that the, what they call the enemies, they are three, four meters in the front of him. And he starts shooting up in, in the sky because if he shoots, he will kill these uh, soldiers. So he starts shooting in the sky and this Merkley that the soldiers, they are walking beside him and no one, no one noticed that this guy is there. The, 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 do you see the situation, Danny? Mm -hmm. he, they are in war. If you don't kill, they will kill you. So he said, okay, what can I do? I, I will not change m myself. So he starts to shoot in the sky and the soldiers, they are walking beside him. They do not notice that he was there and he was, he was in the car. So that was the, the, the main situation. And then thanks God, he, he was transferred for, uh, uh, call it uh, lager was the store for uh, uh, ammunition. And this ended the war, 1988. And then in uh, nine, uh, 1990, we, we, we did have the second war. And uh, in 1991, it happens that my brother also, they brought him back to the army because they need soldiers. So he was driving a, a water truck who was uh, bringing water to, to, the, to the base. And that's happened that he's walking in the, in the desert 
and it was night and he cannot open the lights because he afraid of the Americans uh, airplane that uh, can uh, bombard him and when he is coming back he just you know driving very slowly because it's desert and he cannot see anything only the the moonlight there and suddenly he heard some like a rocket and this rocket is blowed in front of him and he just only said oh god and he don't know what's happened and then suddenly after seconds 15 seconds 20 seconds he noticed nothing there he stopped he just looked to the, the to the scene and he saw a hole behind him in, 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 the, in the ground from the rocket and he went there to the hole it's massive hole you know from from the from the from the rocket and he's swearing that if this tank what he's driving come inside this hole it will not appear you know it will go down and he don't know really really he don't know how he jumped with his vehicle with his this uh, you know uh, a big truck he jumped this uh, this hole and the rocket because he you know from inside he he was correct he, he didn't destroy any uh, lives that that mean also what you do uh, good that will come back to you and this is the end of story yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Jalal. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, it's it's um, it's hard to imagine um, people being in a in a war situation. Yes. Yeah, that's that's really traumatic. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Um, yes, I just got a message from from uh, Roland. He was saying he made a picture now from his uh, mini reactors and he would be ready to show it unless um, you want to show the picture, Flint. So, <clears throat> shall we let Roland show his? Uh... Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, then. Turn it on. <clears throat> Can you see him? Ja. Ist alles sichtbar? Okay. Das ist also das, was Benjamin äh, herausgefunden hat und äh, zusammengebaut hat. Nur ich habe jetzt noch ähm, über diesen Ventilator, den kleinen, noch ein äh, Glasgefäß oben drüber zum Schutz, weil die Kugel, äh, das noch oben offen bleibt, weil man es immer wieder neu befüllt. Okay, so you have a, let me see if I get that right, you have a, a little ventilator, a, a what do you call it, a computer ventilator? And you have a glass ball on top filled yeah. with Gans water. And you have put a cover onto it, a glass bowl, is it? Yeah. Okay. And in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the plastic bags, you have nano-coated coils. Is yeah. that correct? Mit Zinkspray nochmal komplett eingesprüht, okay. so wie es Benjamin gesagt hatte. They are these Triskelion coils, I think they're called, and you you have uh, nano coated them and then you sprayed them with zinc spray. Right. That's correct, yeah? Okay. Yeah, correct. Genau. Um, in, in, der, in der Kugel an sich um, sind nur uh, wenige Tropfen uh, CO2 und CH3. Die werden Nach der, Aus, nach der Aussage von Benjamin ist es äh, notwendig, die jedes Mal auch zu erneuern. Mache ich auch, ich hinterfrage das jetzt nicht und probiere es nicht, sondern ich habe es bislang mal so nur erneuert immer dann. Und ähm, dahinter steht dieses zweite Glas, das ich hier habe. Äh, dort ist ähm, äh, COO drin. Äh, das steht 10 cm praktisch hinter dem Generator. Und äh, an der Bildunterseite, sozusagen am Tischende, dort sitzt derjenige, der äh, mit dem Generator was machen möchte. 
dass äh, diese, äh, das Gille, diese mittlere, die wird bei mir mit einer, mit einer Stecknadel ähm, äh, auf Höhe des Solarplexus befestigt, liegt also auf dem Solarplexus auf. Und die anderen beiden, die nimmt derjenige jeweils in einer Hand. Okay, so one of these calls, the middle one here that you showed, is being pinned um, with a little needle onto the, or onto the closing, obviously, in yeah. front of the <laughs> solar plexus. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the other two coils are being held in each hand. And you have two... Hmm? Es müssen nicht das Kehlen sein, sondern äh, Benjamin selber hatte ganz normale Coils genommen. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what form it is. It could be just a coil that has been nanocoated and sprayed with zinc spray. Okay, I get it, yeah. Ja. Ähm, und dann gibt es, äh, wenn das Ding läuft, äh, gibt es diese Aussage von Benjamin, und das hat auch so funktioniert, dass man äh, eine Botschaft an sein Unterbewusstsein schickt, indem man eigentlich sowas manifestiert, wie zum Beispiel, ich bin frei von Allergien oder ich bin frei von Angstzuständen und so weiter. Und das wiederholt man in Ruhe viermal. So the procedure that he used, he had used, was um, basically talking to his subconscious and, and uh, putting out the intention or the wish for I'm free from allergies in this case and He repeated it uh, four times. Und das kann man auch uh, mit vier verschiedenen Dingen machen, sagt er. Soweit hat er es probiert, der Benjamin. He says you can do it in, in four different ways. That's the way Benjamin had tried it. Uh, Nein, nicht uh, unterschiedliche Wege, sondern um, vier verschiedene Wünsche sozusagen. Also vier verschiedene Dinge, die du loswerden möchtest. Okay, sorry. So not four different ways of doing it, but four different intentions or wishes he's been using. Okay. Genau. Und wie gesagt, das dauert dann in der Regel so um die sechs, sieben Minuten, wenn das in Ruhe gemacht wird. Und, und ähm, ich mache es so, dass der, derjenige sich das aufschreibt. Das heißt, er schreibt sich auf, ich bin frei von und was, was ihn betrifft. Und er soll es auch vorlesen. Mir geht es hier darum, dass man natürlich mit Lesen, Sprechen und Hören natürlich den größten Wert hat, äh, äh, um etwas abzuspeichern in seinem Gehirn. Okay, so Roland would be sitting with that person who, who has um, these coils in his hand and, and is putting out the intentions and would ask the person to write down their intention, like I wish to be free from, and then add four different things, up, up to four different things, and read it out, speak it out, and have the attention or intention or the wish for it, yeah? Ja, ich möchte aber nochmal, dass du auch sagst, dass das nicht meine Sache ist und nicht, dass ich das nur nachgebaut habe, dass das also eine Sache ist von Benjamin. Ich möchte mich hier nicht mit falschen Lorbeeren schmücken. Okay, so Roland is asking me to mention again that this is not his invention or his idea, but that he has been um, basically copying Benjamin's experiment here, just ja. to see if it works. Ich habe aber noch ein, ein weiteres Bild, das ich euch zeigen möchte. Noch etwas, yeah, another picture, etwas sure. anderes, ein anderes Bild. Sieht so ähnlich aus. Da fehlt noch ein bisschen was sozusagen. Das sind die Generatoren, die ich vorher gebaut habe. Deswegen konnte ich so schnell das, das nachbauen oder machen. Ich habe jetzt einige von diesen Dingen gebaut. Das ist im Prinzip nichts anderes. Nur, dass jetzt ähm, die Glaskugel hier drin eben eine andere Füllung hat und das Ding eigentlich permanent läuft. Und zwar ist das ein kleiner Schutzgenerator. Um, ich habe hier drin uh, verschiedene Sachen wie um, Kupfer, uh, Silber uh, und uh, auch ein ganz klein wenig Blei, aber nicht sehr viel, sondern nur einen Tropfen. Und um, ein, diese Mixtur haben wir jetzt laufen so mit mehreren Generatoren an mehreren Stellen, also mehreren Ortschaften. Und es gibt um, eigentlich überall eine Aussage, nämlich dass uh, der Handyempfang um, also der, der sichtbare Empfang, das heißt also diese, diese Messeinheit am Handy, dass das äh, anzeigt, dass also schon weniger ähm, ähm, Strahlenbelastung da ist. Messen okay. konnten wir es nicht, weil wir die Messgeräte dazu nicht haben. Ja, yeah, Roland has another um, little generator setup that um, he is being using as a kind of a shield and um, he's filled it amongst others with uh, lead. 
lead gans water, I, I presume. Co copper. And copper, okay. Um, and um, silver. He's saying that he's he has um, noticed that there's less radiation coming from uh, mobiles. Sorry, my phone. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, das ist eine Geschichte. Die haben wir haben ungefähr einen, einen Durchmesser ähm, oder einen Radius von etwa 50 bis 70 Meter gemessen, indem wir praktisch äh, komplett die Strahlung etwas verringern können. Es ist nicht so krass, dass du sagst, du hast kein Handyempfang mehr. Aber bei, bei den Handys ein bis zwei von den Strichen fällt das schon runter. Okay, so Roland says there's there's quite a bit of protection as he thinks coming out there or shielding that it uh, even uh, has um, influenced uh, his mobile phone the reception. So, um, and you have it, you have it running constantly. You were saying, is it? Yeah. Genau, das läuft also immer und das ähm, drückt natürlich auch alle anderen Strahlungen in, diesem, in, diesem, in dieser Kugel quasi auch runter. Ähm, das heißt also, es ist ein, 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 ein Tool, das praktisch nicht nur von außen her äh, abschottet, sondern auch praktisch innerhalb dieser ganzen Kugel, diese 50 Meter Radius, ähm, alles dämpft, was an Strahlung ist. Ähm, wir werden es jetzt weiter probieren und testen. Das ist der eine. Aber ich kann natürlich auch, mit anderer Füllung diese Kugel ist auch laufen lassen. So you have a you have a diameter of approximately 50 meters of shielding yeah. and can I just ask you you were saying you have you have copper oxide gans water and lead gans this water. There. A, only one drop. Only a drop and the rest is distilled water or yeah. Also ich habe, ich habe vom, vom ähm, Blei also vom Led, nur einen Tropfen. Ich habe etwas mehr. Ich schreibe das mal genau zusammen. Wenn er wollt, kann ich das nächste Mal genau geben. Ähm, ich muss jetzt mal gucken. Ich habe die Aufschreibung jetzt gerade nicht hier, wo ich jetzt, jetzt sitze. Ähm, ich habe äh, ungefähr äh, sechs äh, Milliliter Füllung insgesamt. Davon ist aber das meiste ganz Wasser. Na, das heißt, ich habe ganz Wasser mit etwas, mit etwas ganz dabei, mhm. ähm, aber das ist Blei, das ist Silber, das ist Kupfer und das muss man nicht, was noch auf. Eisen habe ich allerdings nicht dabei mit reingenommen. So it's about six milliliter of, of ganz water in there and that would be lead, copper and silver ja. oxide ganz in there, ja. where, where the, the lead ganz is only a drop, you were saying. Ja. Also wir haben auch jetzt keine Aussage, dass irgendjemand durch das Blei jetzt irgendwie müde wird oder irgendeine Belastung spürt, ähm, obwohl die jetzt ungefähr, zum, also die, die im längsten Laufen laufen jetzt 14 Tage schon äh, und da gibt es keinerlei ähm, Beanstandungen, dass wir dann mit dem Blei irgendwie was äh, merken bislang. Interesting, ja. Yeah. Und Roland is saying that uh, he himself or other people could not know, haven't noticed any any draining effect coming from the from the lead cans now so und uh, wir haben wir haben insgesamt 12 Stück davon jetzt laufen you das have 12 in the house running nein 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 jedes haus eins aber 12 verschiedene orte standorte oh. sozusagen in 12 verschiedenen wohnungen einfach um zu sehen wie es wirklich funktioniert überall okay so you have 12 of these generators in 12 different households running just to see what the effect is oh, okay genau. So, und dann kann man die natürlich auch noch unterschiedlich füllen. Ich habe auch andere Laufen, die sind gefüllt mit äh, CO2, äh, Kupfer, da habe ich dann Magnesium mit dabei, da habe ich ähm, ähm, Kalzium mit dabei und äh, das kann man natürlich dann auch füllen, wie man möchte. Und da geht es praktisch um Gesundheit, dem Körper praktisch dann in diesem Feld auch eine Grundversorgung anzubieten. Das machen wir auch, die laufen auch. Okay. So Roland has a, seems to have experimented with quite a few of these and filled them in different ways. And one of them, uh, I think he said CO2, copper oxide, magnesium and calcium and uh, trying to, uh, to meet the basic needs here and yeah. use them for health uh, applications as well. Yeah, this is also the one. Da also haben wir schon zwei und den dritten, den ich laufen lasse, der läuft mit, mit ähm, Food Guns und hauptsächlich eben das ähm, 
das ganze Wort davon. Und ähm, da habe ich auch schon die ersten Rückmeldungen, dass die Leute tatsächlich weniger Hunger verspüren auch. Also die sagen definitiv, sie essen schon weniger und das schon nach der ersten Woche jetzt. That's interesting. Uh, another experiment that um, Roland's been doing is, is one of those mini reactors filled with a food gans. And he was saying that people who have been using it or testing it have said that they, um, they consume less, less food. Thank you. Yeah. So, that's my next one. That's my favorite. Very good. <laughs> okay. That's very interesting. Yeah, I like your okay. picture and I like the ideas. Well done. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Thank you. Brilliant. Yes. Um, um, I know we have a few more interesting things coming up and I would I would like to um like to speak with or like to hear from Andre actually. Because he's been trying to come on a couple of times now. Do you have problems to to stop the sharing, Roland or? Ja, ich weiß das nicht, wie ich das rauskriege. Ich weiß nicht, warum ich das nicht wegkriege. Bitte werf mich raus wieder. Kannst du ja gut, habe ich gehört. <lacht> Do you want me to shut you up as well? All right then. Your wish is granted. Now I don't know if we can stop. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much, Flint. Yeah. Um... Andre, are you, are you there? Can you hear us, Andre? Eresbach. Hello? Ooh, we hear you, hear you very fainted. Ganz, ganz, ganz leise. Is there any chance you can uh, turn up the volume or, or shout at us? No. Very, very distant. No, we can't. I can't hear you. Flint, can you hear? Maybe it's no, a microphone. No, No, okay. Um, maybe, oh. Andre, there is another way. Maybe you can, you can uh, see if you have a, a microphone or something that you can. What was that, Sander? The, the, to Andre, there are uh, ways how to adjust uh, the volume on Zoom. And by the way, uh, is that one minute time for a short testimonial which I got now from Romania? Sure. There is okay. Oh, there is time, yeah. We just, we just, uh, I'll just tell Andre now. Um, Andre, wenn du mich hören kannst, versuch mal über Zoom deine Lautstärke einzustellen. Da muss es eine Möglichkeit bei den Einstellungen geben. Und wir machen in der Zeit weiter und wenn du soweit bist, kannst du mir nochmal einen Text schicken, okay? Thanks. I was just, I was just telling Andre now that he might be able to change the setting. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. I hope you can read it. Uh, time to time I get uh, such uh, messages uh, by Facebook. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, Romanian language uh, study group, uh, Romanian language cash study group, and uh, some uh, of the knowledge seekers made some regional groups, uh, like Mr. Kodarcha made uh, such a regional group for uh, the city Turgu Mures. And uh, he added more people. So now one of those people uh, wrote me in Hungarian. You don't have to be surprised about why in Romania some people talk Hungarian some region <coughs> had an interesting history. Uh, so uh, this is uh, from a new connection which I got. Uh, is the friend of Laszlo Melinda who uh, previously shared some testimonials. And uh, I'm reading the English translation. Uh, or shall I read it in Hungarian too? With, because this is international. Sure, go ahead both. Oké, okay. üdvözlöm kedves Kakasi úr, és köszönöm az elfogadást. László Melinda barátnőm, sokat beszélgettünk a csodavízről. Én is azt hiszom a kisfiammal, és használom a tapaszt is, ami tényleg csodát művel. Minden este úgy tévézek, netezek, hogy a nyakamon van. Azóta nem fáj a spondilózisom. 
Tegnap pedig megcsípett egy méh, beleléptem, és ma már telje, szinte teljesen lelóhatt a dagadás, ami szintén a tapasztnak köszönhető. Now in English, greetings Mr. Kagashi and thanks for the accept. Melinda Laszlo is my friend. We have been talking a lot about the miracle water. So here she refers to the plasmatic water of CO2 and the zinc oxide. I am drinking it along with my son. I am using the patch too, which really worked like a miracle. I am using it every evening on my neck while I'm watching TV or while I'm uh, using the internet. And uh, since that, my spondylosis does not hurt. You know, spondylosis, it's a, a very painful uh, um, problem of, of the spine. Uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday, I was bitten by a bee. I accidentally stepped on it. And by today, the swelling deflated entirely, uh, which is grace to the patch. So that was the short and nice uh, testimonial. So people uh, learned uh, about how to uh, make a nano coating, how to uh, create gains materials, how to clean them, how to produce a plasma water, and how to use it, uh, for instance, in patches. Uh, you know, the uh, plasma uh, patches or gas uh, water patches, and also they are taking uh, moderately also uh, the uh, filtered streamed uh, plasma water as well. And we are getting so many uh, nice uh, testimonials. And I'm sure much more people are using this, just they are too shy to show it uh, to the public. So I'd like to encourage everyone uh, who has some experience, personal experience, to share it and uh, to send it also to the testimonials.cashfoundation.org website. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Thank you very much, Shando. Um, that's great. Yes, like Shando said, if you have anything even from other people, feel free and share with the rest of us. Um, wonderful. Yeah. Keep it coming, Shando. If you have more, we'd love to hear from you again. Thank you. This is right now. I disconnect now. I'm going to the continue other job. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So nice evening. Evening. Bye. Great. I hear we have Dimitri here and Paul. So let's see what Dimitri has for us. Is that correct? Everybody. Yes. I don't. Hi, Dimitri. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. You have to. Um, you have to bear with me because I've got the dog. I'm outside on my phone. So if the dogs bark, I'm, I'll, I'll mute myself. Um, yeah it's 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 to do with uh what we're um what we're doing at the moment um with, with peace uh creating the peace um because uh doesn't look like anybody else will and um what we were told to choose choose a person um, from from the G20, I, I, I chose um, his name is Mariano Rajoy. He's the Prime Minister of Spain. I just chose him because I live in Spain. Before I actually looked on the G20 to actually see if he was there. Um, he's not, Spain's not actually part of the G20, but um, he's in the photo anyway. Um, and I've been I've been I've been listening uh, to the teachings to Carolina. Uh, to liberty, to everybody that has been um, making comments about about this, about what we're doing. And uh, when I, 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 I had not chose um, a prime minister until a couple had, had been chosen, I wasn't waiting for anybody, um, but I was looking at um, the messages coming up on the Zoom chat, and and people were making choices, and I didn't have anybody in in my head. <clears throat> um, and then I just thought to myself, and I just had that feeling, right, this is I've got to, I've got to make a choice, you know. It, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a feeling. Um, uh, it was a good feeling, you know. It was it was a feeling of motivation, is what it was. Uh, and of confidence as well, because I know how powerful uh, we all are and what we are capable of. Um, 
and then um, I thought about the G20 and then I, I you know I, I really did feel I'm, I've, I've been living in Spain for a couple of years now and I've had an absolutely beautiful time I really have I'm so grateful I cannot express that and and the thought came to me you know uh, I need to do other not I need to but I just felt I had to do I had to do Spain out of respect it's the best that's the, it's the it's the best thing I can do for this country it's given me so much but you know I can't uh, you know I, it's not like I've I'm, I'm in a position to uh, to give a great deal back in the third dimension and um, and so it just, it just felt that was it I was like okay Spain and then uh, I had to actually google who the current prime minister of Spain is and as soon as his picture came up on google I looked at that and just I had like a sub thought okay it wasn't a direct thought that I was cognitively thinking of it was just one that was there and I became aware of it of uh, a quick flash of just everything that I've been listening to all of you regarding this and uh, that happened for like a second and then I just uh, locked eyes with Mariano Rajoy And it was, a, you know, it was a beautiful experience. To be honest with you, it was a bit painful because I couldn't, I didn't know why. It wasn't pain. It was pain. I think it was his pain. I did not know. My head was really, really, really numb. I had a full crash helmet of plasma on. And within seconds, uh, I was, I was, I was thinking. I was, I was saying a mantra. I was chanting to him. I was just going. I was talking. My mind was talking to him. Uh, my mind, because I was going. I was saying it in my head, and I just could not. I was saying, "I love you, brother." I said about two of them, and then I just could not stop. Uh, I was just connected with something. I couldn't stop crying. It was really. Um, it was uncomfortable, but my head was above water, so I could carry on. I could carry on doing it, and um, it was really interesting <laughs> because it's uh, it's a new level of reality for all of us. Um, you know, a higher dimension of existence that we are cognitively experiencing yeah thank you for sharing Dimitri do you you think that all the the fields that you're surrounded with the plasmatic fields um have something to do with that yeah that you're more connected and more yeah I've put myself absolutely I've put myself out uh in nature I live in the middle of nowhere um mm. it's just me and the animals and uh I've uh, I've got my mum living with me and my friends just turned up for some processing. Um, but it's all, it's all, um, they're all plasmatic fields that are not made by me. I haven't made any hands yet. Um, but there's a lot out, there's a lot everywhere. But loca that location, I feel, probably does have quite some to do, some to do with it. You know, if you're living in in a town or something, then there's going to be all the fields from all the other people that are living in your environment, all the machines, etc., and just all that jazz that goes with it, which is a really, you know, it's a, it's a lot to deal with. If mm. uh, you know, if you're a sen if you're sensitive to uh, to that, you know, if you're listening to what is being taught and and knowing it for the for, for it to be the truth you know it you know it when you know it you know this isn't this isn't uh i personally feel um especially from interaction with uh other people um this is not uh this is not um just just for me this is just how i feel okay i'm not pointing the finger at anybody i'm not uh saying this is how it's done but this is just how i feel from interactions uh, that I've had with people is that if you what what will be what you can achieve and feel if you are 
I know this compared to if you are, I'm 99% sure this is what's going on. But I still am, you know, got that tint of skepticism. That skepticism is a burden. It is a shackle and chain. And to to do what we're supposed to do, we need, it's not about belief. You don't need to believe, you need to know. Belief is for a skeptic. Knowing is, it is final. And this, what we are doing is, uh, is more than possible, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and your feelings on the whole. Beautiful. Thank you, Dimitri. I want to add, if I may, how much I appreciate your sharing. I appreciate everyone sharing, not to make anyone more special than another, but the fact that you reach right in there and get in touch with your emotional side uh, because I know it's very hard for many men to get into their emotional side. And it's very hard for some of us women to stay out of the emotional side. But I really appreciate hearing the balance that is starting to show through you. And I think we're all aiming to get that balance where instead of reacting to our emotions, we use our emotions to feed our soul rather than the physicality. And uh, I think that's what you're doing. I, I don't think I know it's what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thanks for adding liberty. Um, do we have Pavel here who would like to add something? Yeah, actually, I just popped in. Um, could you just tell me how you can hear me? You know, some, can you Greek? speak a little louder? It's hard to hear you. about now is you can shout at us if you like well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting any better or is that really yes better? slightly slightly okay so uh, yeah well basically that's what dimitri is saying is uh, it's absolutely beautiful because um, you know a lot of from, a lot of from us is stuff you know touching something what we never been aware so much in a physical existence that those things, however we're going to call them, do exist. And, um, you know, through the teachings of which one Mr. Keshe provides us, with everyone from us is taking from this knowledge uh, according to his understanding. And the understanding, it doesn't mean the level of stupidity of the, or the cleverness. It just means that what is me. So the certain person is on a certain level because he wants to be on this level. And um, this is the, some, some kind of the way of choose which one we put on ourselves through different, you know, uh, aspects. And um, from my personal opinion, the fear is the first uh, aspect which one blocking us, but not fear of physical uh, things which one we're gonna lose because of this, but this is a fear which one coming out from us rather from a point, what's gonna happen with my life is that we come a true. And this fear is really hold us up. And I can give you something what is on my example. This is just my current, uh, you know, understanding. And as Dimitri says uh, earlier on, I'm not going to point anything with the fingers. You have to do that or you have to do this. No, because everyone, even Mr. Takashi today mentioned, everyone have to pick on his way, his own way to bring him closer to his own comprehension. Because this is not the understanding. This is not the knowledge. This is a wisdom. And wisdom has to be comprehend. It cannot be just understand. Kannst du drei für eine Trinkenei tun? And, uh, and basically, you know, when you're going through the different processes, I think so. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I've got it here. Yeah, it is. So when we go through different, you know, uh, processes, uh, I'm a guy which one was uh, one year ago was like, you know, put it in the concrete. I was the, you know, the concrete person. I didn't feel nothing. I didn't could even, you know, uh, uh, well, when someone pinched me or someone kicked me at the time, I was able to feel it, obviously. But nothing apart from that. I was absolutely, you know, like uh, ignorant of all these things because I didn't even thought that things like that can exist. And right now, what I want to share with you is that what the Chinese guys will say. I was so amazed when they come out with such a thrillness of expressing themselves in terms of the emotions and in terms of the naming the feelings which one they are actually touching by the physicality so you know a lot of people call this different names a lot of people put that through the different perspective like you know put this guy they call this chakras the other guys they call this in a different way well, I call this only from the point of knowledge which, which one I know, and I call this the plasmatic current. So, a few months ago, I will start feeling something like a plasmatic current on the tip of my hand. And I was so ignorant to this that I was trying to deny to myself something what was happening to me at least a few hours every day and was so physically strong that you actually could recognize this as some kind of worms walking on the tip of your hand. That was such a feeling. And I was ignoring this till the day when I understood that I can play with it. So when I start moving this up and down my skull, just when you have two hemispheres, it's just on the line this this line between two hemispheres and you can just move it as you want it when i start playing with this <clears throat> i start gaining um not only me because there is a few dozens of, of people which one play with this which one comprehend that in a pretty much similar way we're not saying that's the correct way but this is our current understanding and i'm highlighting this once more then when I start feeling, can you imagine this, guys? One year ago, guy, which one, which one during the conversation with person, which one could say to him, okay, so can you start running your third eye, third eye now? I will call that because most of the people will understand the place. I would tell to this person, okay, you use some kind of weirdo. And I wouldn't even, you know, uh, carry on with the conversation today to get the third eye running is not even a third eye. It's something like a triangle of our forehead, in my understanding. And this triangle is goes down to the um, to the nose bones. When you literally feel, a well, you can feel it in a different ways. I feel this like a pressure. We call this a plasmatic current because you feel literally like you, pressurized but this not this is not like a air pressure it's more like a electrical tinkling pressure and when i recognize this i will start you know then going like a crazy into start looking in me at different ways at different perspectives and basically i start working with myself so what i'm doing every day even when i'm working like right now i'm just starting this point and i'm just playing with this point i'm trying to you know on the different angles change the strangenesses of the emotions in myself observing the phenomenons which one are happening and last saturday when we've done some kind of banking process to the polish leaders political leaders there's actually three of them um when i get focused on one of them which is like a, a shadow leader he's, he's just a, a leading person in the main in the main you know party in poland but actually the president and prime minister they coming out from the same party and they 
uh, they basically play his game. So whatever the game will say, uh, will happen. And this Saturday in the morning, that was the first morning when I was able to remember, look at these guys. 36 years old guy, having a wife, loving the wife, loving the kids. I forgot what the real intention of love is. Even loving them, it wasn't that strange. Because I was giving out that love. I wasn't like putting this love to me. So I love myself and through the love to myself, I love you and I respect you. And I was trying to go back to those moments. And in Saturday morning, for some reasons, I just reached the point when I, oh my God, this is that feeling. And you can literally describe the strength of that feeling. It's very hard to explain that to the others at the present time because the emotion is a bit too fast comparing to the thought. Thought is actually a little piece of the emotion. And, you know, it's the same way uh, like you would like to describe to your friends how you love your wife. It's actually, it's very hard to put this into the words. But when you feel this, you know, actually, that's what Dimitri mentioned as well. You know, you just simply know. And that's when I was having those phenomenons on my head, I was start playing with the different emotions. Some of them I'm capable to repeat, like copy, copy them without necessarily if I think about them. It's just the intentional game. If I want to have them, I just have them. But the funny thing is, they not appear in a physical state. They, it's, it's like emotion inside the emotion. And then, in Saturday, to be honest with you, I thought that I discovered the soul. Because when I kicked, we've been doing the banking, you know, at night time. And when I start going back to this feeling, which when I just remind to myself in the morning, in the same day, and I will start banking to this, you know, uh, let's say in the brackets, a third leader in Poland, political leader. And I knew he had a kidney cancer. And the thoughts in my head was like, I love you. I don't, you don't have to know me. And I don't even want you to know me, but I'm giving you everything what is most beautiful in my emotion of love, unconditional. So take whatever you want, please, but sign the peace treaty through your heart. And, you know, that was my, like, you know, thought going across my mind. And suddenly at the back of my head, I just start feeling like a beam crossing from the third eye and between the eyes down to the bottom of the head. And something in my head, like, you know, at the back of my head, like maybe this two centimeters away from the skull, it was literally start moving. It was like, you know, spinning, creating a massive pressure in the back of my head. But that was so gorgeous, so beautiful, so full of, I don't know, ecstasy, however we want to call it. It's very even hard for me to describe that by words. But the funny thing is, I just stopped, stopped feeling my legs. Like, you know, everything, my physicality was a bit irrelevant at that time. It was so emotional, high element of my understanding. But the most beautiful thing is, when I recognize this, I call this another reactor in my head. Now, when I recognize that in Saturday, on Monday, following Monday, I couldn't go back to this place. I was trying, but for some reasons, I couldn't. Tuesday, nothing happened. Wednesday, nothing happened. Thursday. I'm sitting watching the Mr. Kesha No Less Sickle workshop, and I'm start feeling this place at the back of my head much, much more, let's say, um, weaker than in Saturday, but I start feeling this. So I said, okay, so when I'm feeling this, so let's stop, let's, let's stop this feeling. I want that feeling to disappear. <laughs> so I, I blocked somehow from my intention, this feeling, 
I let that feeling to be away for five minutes and then, okay, bring it back. And then I start bringing this feeling back and I said, oh my God, look at this, there's another thing, which one I can just play with. Same like with the tip of my head, like these things which are normally people call the third eye, now I can play with the back of my head. And then I start playing, that's what the Carolina was mentioning, I start playing with the tips of my finger, but not making any big things. I just put my fingers to the air. I expose my fingers to the air. See what's gonna happen. And you know, the current flow, which one was going across my body, it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing feeling. So and, Pavel, you have okay. basically for those who who are not um, students or, or don't don't follow all the teachings you have basically um, moved away from from using any devices um, you're um, using more your intention and certain exercises to connect is that um, is that a way to describe yeah, it or you know in a way I'm still playing with some beats and bobs you know I mean it's not like this that I put that away and I encourage everyone to, you know, play with the different stuff on the level of their understanding. It's not like, okay, put everything away and play different game because maybe this is not your time. Maybe this is not your, I don't want to call level because I don't want to put the people higher or lower, but maybe this is not the comprehension which one you've, you achieved towards yourself. So sometimes just carry on with the game. But, you know, the funny thing is that now we start seeing and now we, now we start comprehending the things which are much, much more above the wires and just the dances. And, you know, the people which are starting right now with this technology, they have a beautiful start because you know, through the plasmatic teachings and through the through the banking process, we also discover it that this knowledge can be given, or maybe not given, because giving is uh, like force, can be offered unconditionally, can be offered to the people which are just started, and then only their will of receiving can even put them on the same level of your understanding, which one you've been working through the wires, through the glances for the last, you know, I don't know, two, three, five years. And that's the beauty of this sharing unconditionally. I don't care. I spend the money on, on this and you don't because that's, that was the purpose for me to learn, to be capable to share, you know what I mean? But if you're not, trust yourself too much play with the different stuff you have a, there is a billions toys across the internet and presented by cash foundation but be aware of one fact and these guys what i would like to highlight it the most be aware that the fact that you're not making a magic devices you're just making a toy a point of reference to understand your own soul in, a, in many different ways. I didn't reach my soul yet, but I'm just having this fun with these different phenomenons. You know, when you, when you start playing with this and when you start feeling those different sensations, there is no way, there is no space for the word belief or put your beliefness in that. No way. Because you know that there is a something above the physical body. And you know, and then we know that in our physical body, it's not only a kidneys, a liver, a heart, but we know that those things were always there for the different purposes, which one we didn't want to see in a way. We wasn't capable to understand it. And now, through the beauty of comprehension of beautiful people across this planet, we can merge this beautiful knowledge, sharing this, not only through the words, but sharing this straight from the soul level to the soul level. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. a totally different game. So you're basically, you're basically asking 
to be more attentive to subtle changes um, that go around. Yes, in, in uh, what I can suggest, if I can, obviously, just observe yourself, see the differences. You know, I was explaining recently to one person, even if you put your fingers and you expose your fingers and you start feeling a tinkling on the tips of your fingers or whatever, don't deny it. Don't deny it to something what you don't understand. Start playing with the different sensations like a kid. Okay, I'm feeling this here. What I can do with that? Can I move that? Can I increase that? Can I just you know ignore that 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 will disappear in one second? Can I bring it back? And then you're gonna understand that actually you create this different stuff on yourself. <laughs> and then you're just putting the one puzzle to the another one to the another one, reaching a different ways of understanding. And that's what I would like to share with you guys. I hope it wasn't like, you know, uh, a speech of the really weirdo, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, um, no. Thank you very much. Um, we, we already had a few voices that, that went into that direction. I think it's very interesting to, to hear those um, perspectives as well. So thank you very much for sharing, Paolo. Yeah, and I encourage everyone to play with this in a different angle. All angles are the best ones. <laughs> so thank you indeed. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. Yes, thank you, Paul. Yeah, I see we have um, Andre back. Danny. And he might um, be able to use his uh, microphone. Sorry, John, you were saying? Uh, this friend of mine couldn't walk. He's just arrived. You want to listen to his, uh, uh, yeah, his, uh, what do you want to call it? His um, history. Mm. Is there, is there, is it a problem if we, if we try to see if Andre is able because he had yeah, problems yeah, with his, ahead, yeah. if your friend doesn't mind, uh, maybe you have a cup of tea for him or something and he can, he can and then. Uh, we drink the green tea here. A green tea. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very much, John. Thank you. Andre, can you hear us? Do you want to try again? Hello, Danny? Yes. Hello, Ada? Yes, now I can hear you much better. Okay, super. Ja, hier spricht Andre und ich habe eure Unterhaltung gerade mitgehört, aber sehr wenig verstanden, aber irgendwie mitbekommen, dass ihr da voll bei der Sache seid. Man will da euch nicht unterbrechen und auch nicht stören. No, you're not disturbing, Andre. That's what we're here for, to, to exchange experiences and give testimonials. So I understand that, that um, you did not understand everything. So you would probably prefer to speak in your language. Is that correct? Danny, ich verstehe kein Englisch. Du musst mir übersetzen. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Um, du kannst gerne auf Deutsch sprechen und ich übersetze das für dich. Und du störst auf keinen Fall. <laughs> okay, danke. Also, sure, I'll translate for, for Andre. Okay. Also, hallo Leute. Ich würde euch mal mitteilen, äh, wie ich äh, den Krebs äh, meiner bekannten Frau vorigen Winter geheilt habe. Welche Art von Krebs? Äh, Brustkrebs. Okay. So, um, Andre is saying he has processed a breast cancer case of a friend successfully and I would like to, to share how he did that. Willst du uns sagen, wie du das gemacht hast und was du benutzt hast? Ja, gern. Also es war ein, ähm, wie die Ärzte gesagt haben, ein ziemlich, äh, 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 also in, bei, bei den Ärzten ist das äh, der schlimmste Tumor eigentlich, den es gibt. Das ist dreifach X, 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 Triple X, sagen die Ärzte dazu. Und ähm, die Frau hatte sich äh, zur Chemotherapie entschlossen. Und die Ärzte haben schon bei Beginn der Chemotherapie gesagt, hm, es scheint nicht gut auszugehen. Okay, so um, Andre is saying that the medical doctors had 
had said this is um, a triple X kind of cancer and already during uh, the start of chemotherapy they were not very positive about the outcome. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, ich habe dann angefangen CO2 Ads zu machen um, ungefähr in der Größe wie es früher die Streichholzschachteln gab um, für, den, für den BH. Also sie hat es dann an die Seite zwischen der Brust und dem BH reingeschoben dieses CO2-Pad und ich hatte dann intensiven Kontakt mit Peter Salorer und Klaus Briller und äh, es war damals noch die Zeit mit dem Calcium und ich hatte dann noch ein Calcium ganz gemacht in einem Pad für die andere Seite im BH. Nochmal das gleiche, um, in, um ein Feld aufzubauen, dass die sich gegenseitig nähern. In gleicher Größe oder unterschiedlich? In gleicher Größe, in gleicher okay. Größe. So Andre has been using patches, one patch with CO2 in matchbox size and a second patch of the same size uh, containing calcium gans water and he put them or the woman put them into the bra. Yeah, weiter. Ja, die Frau hat dann äh, ihre, äh, die Chemotherapie weitergemacht und aber plötzlich nach zwei bis drei Wochen war der Tumor nicht mehr zu spüren in der Brust. So his friend continued the chemotherapy, um, but within two or three weeks um, they couldn't feel the tumor anymore. Yeah. Ähm, der Arzt hat dann noch gesagt, ähm, ja, das ist normal und äh, ja, das zerstreut sich jetzt und nicht zu früh freuen, so ungefähr. Ne? Und ja, ich habe dann noch angefangen, äh, dieses CO2 ganz Wasser in diese, diese Heizkörper, äh, diese, kennst du vielleicht, Dani, diese am, am Heizkörper, diese Luft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Äh, da da habe ich alles überall CO2 ganz rein, Wasser reingemacht, uh, um die ganze Wohnung zu fluten mit diesem Dampf da, sage ich jetzt mal so. Yeah. So, um After the cancer couldn't be felt anymore, um, the doctors were saying, so don't, um, don't raise your hopes too high because um, this is just a sign that the cancer might be spreading now. So what Andre did, he, he filled little containers that um, in some countries you're hanging over your, um, what you call the heating system over there, heaters. Um, to keep the air humid and he filled them with or he added CO2 water into all of them in the whole house. Yeah. Ja. Ähm, zusätzlich haben wir noch äh, sehr basische Säfte gemacht äh, zu trinken, alles, alles basisch, den ganzen Körper basisch gemacht. Mm -hmm. They also used um, a lot of juices, alkaline juices. Ja und als dann eines Tages die Auswertung war beim, beim, äh, bei, bei, bei dem Arzt, ähm, dieses, na, wie heißt das, ich, ähm, den ganzen Körper, wo der, da wird der ganze Körper durchsucht. Mhm. Und, check up. Mhm. Ja, und es sind keine Metastasen mehr gefunden worden. Okay, so at the, at the final checkup where they really checked everything, they could not find a trace anymore. So, und jetzt kommt das Spannende. Der Arzt hat dann gesagt, das kann nicht sein. Er hatte sich schon darauf eingestellt, mit der Chemotherapie weiterzumachen. Und ähm, er, hat dann er hat dann abends noch nach 20 Uhr angerufen und hat gesagt, ähm, bei der Frau, und hat gesagt, das, das kann nicht sein, hier muss was falsch gelaufen sein. Ähm, Sie müssen diese, diese Mammographie, jetzt fällt es mir wieder ein, diese Mammographie, diese Untersuchung noch einmal machen. Weil es kann nicht sein, dass die Metastasen alle weg sind. Und sie haben die Mammographie dann nochmal gemacht. Und da war der Arzt nicht mehr allein, sondern hat ein ganzes, die ganze Klinik, ein ganzes Team dazu gezogen. Die waren dann sechs Ärzte und haben sechs Ärzte die Mammographie gemacht, um ja nichts zu übersehen. Und haben dann 
yeah. Yes, this is uh, interesting. Andre is saying that um, after the final check, the doctor was uh, was a bit amazed, and he even rang them um, late in the evening to say, "Look, uh, there's something must have gone wrong. We we have to do we have to do a breast screen again," and uh, invited her over to do another breast screen, but had also um, another six colleagues or. There were about six doctors in the room who who were checking on it so to make sure nothing was overlooked. Yeah. Ja, und ähm, sie haben sich dann alle gegenseitig angeschaut und mit den Schultern gezuckt und gesagt, ja, sie finden keine Metastasen mehr. Und äh, somit ist der Fall erstmal abgeschlossen für sie. Sie konnten sich das nicht erklären. Sie haben dann gesagt, äh, sie ist eine von, von drei bis vier Prozent auf der Welt. Und aber nach dem Triple X, den die festgestellt hatten, hätten die sich so einen Ausgang nie gedacht. Yeah, beautiful, thank you. Yeah, Andre is saying that the doctors were quite puzzled by it and they were telling uh, his friend that she is one of the two or three percent in the world that could survive something like this and not having the cancer spread. So yeah, that's a very interesting testimonial, beautiful testimonial, thank you. Danke dir, das ist ein, schönes, ein schöner Erfahrungsbericht. Äh, gern, gern, Dani. Und wenn jemand noch Interesse hat, äh, äh, Dr. Klaus Poller weiß Bescheid. Mm -hmm, okay. So, Andre is saying he had, um, he had help or he had uh, consulted with uh, Dr. Klaus, Klaus Priller and, and also had uh, been speaking to Peter Salocha. So um, I don't know. Does anybody have questions for um, for Andre before he's before he's leaving again? Yeah, yeah. I do, if I may. Mm -hmm. um, the the patches was CO two in one side and calcium in the other. Is that correct or combination? Um, Andre war jetzt in einem Patch nur CO zwei ganz Wasser und in dem anderen nur Calcium. Yeah, yeah. Und, ja. das, und, und am Anfang, die erste Woche, hatte ich das Kalzium ganz noch nicht fertig. Das Kalzium ganz war aus Hühnereierschalen. Mhm. Und das Kalzium ganz hat sie dann erst nach der ersten Woche mit auf die Gegenüber. Es war voriges Jahr im, im Herbst, wo noch alles, mhm. noch gar keiner Bescheid wusste. Also es war nur und sie hat nur ein Patch benutzt am Anfang, ja? Am Anfang nur ein Patch CO2 und dann später noch ein zweites mit Kalzium auf der anderen Seite. So uh, Andre is saying that um, he did not have any calcium guns in the first week, so she was only using this one patch of CO2 guns water for about a week. And then he had made a calcium guns from uh, egg shells, chicken egg shells. And that's what she added then after the, the first week. Thank you, danke dir. Thank you. And was that added then with the CO2 water? Or no, he had one, one patch each side. Perfect. Thanks, Anne. Thank you, Andre. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Thank you. I English now. Thanks very good. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody Hello, else have questions? Sorry. Hello, Danny. I had no question on Andre. Yeah, sure. Another question for Andre, yeah? Yeah, Andre, me would not interest you, hast du darauf geachtet, uh, welches Patch du sozusagen um, in der Nähe vom, von den uh, Ablegern, Krebsablegern gelegt hast und welches sozusagen gegenüber oder war das egal? The question to Andre now is um, whether he put the patches in a certain way. Also, das CO2 war auf der Seite von dem, wo der Tumor war. So the CO2 was on the side where the tumor was and the calcium then on the other side. Yeah, genau. Danke dir. Thank you. Danke euch. Vielen Dank auch. Gern. That's a very exciting story. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Wonderful testimonials we have tonight and people sharing beautiful things.
Do we have somebody else who would like to add to it or share? Please feel free to open your microphone and speak to us. Have you got your Spanish ears ready? Oh yes, John, of course. <laughs> now, what is your friend's name then? His surname is Jara. We know him as Jara or Jarita. <laughs> uh, so welcome, Jarita, if I... I'll, I'll give him uh, my earphones. So well, welcome. Um, buenas tardes, querida. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> I'm sorry, we have. I don't speak any Spanish, but we would love to hear from you. Ah, ella no habla en castellano. Ah, bueno. Y bueno, ¿y cómo lo entendemos acá por por intermedio de Johnny? Ah, sí. Ella va a grabar, seguro. Ah, ah, bueno. Hola. Sí, habla no. Ah, bueno. Yo soy Albino Marjara. Ya voy a cumplir 74 años. Este, siempre tuve artrosis sin saber, este, desde los 20 años más o menos. En la última temporada ya era imposible el dolor. Este, así que tengo la, la amistad de Johnny que uno, este, progresando despacito, despacito ¿viste? probando todas las posibilidades, porque yo ya estaba prácticamente paralítico, yo no podía caminar y los síntomas decían que yo iba a quedar paralítico. Entonces con Johnny, con el agua esta plasmática, con los parches, he recuperado el movimiento porque yo caminaba como cangrejo para el costado nomás, pero no podía doblar la rodilla. Y no, ni te cuento el dolor, ya sea para acostarme o para levantarme, para poner el zapato, era imposible para caminar. Y... Do you want me to translate? Yes, please. Uh, would help, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, well, his name is, he's known as Carita, and uh, his problem is, well, he's 74 years old, and... Uh, He's had a progressive arthritis in his legs for, since he was 20 years old. And his diagnosis was he's going to remain paralyzed. So he started experimenting with me on the water and the patches. And right now he walks over 80 blocks, uh, about uh, eight kilometers a day with uh, complete ease. And he also carries around uh, 10 liters of uh, water, of gal, uh, water, gans water in, um, in uh, containers when before he couldn't even pick up a, a yogurt container, a small 200 cc uh, yogurt container. So he's uh, very happy with <laughs> having got rid of all these uh, pains and aches and the people just can't believe the way he walks ar around in, in, in the town. Este, sí, y el dolor era imposible, viste, yo, eh, yo ni me había enseñado el, la orinoterapia, esa yo la hacía con, con facilidad porque mi padre lo, lo hacía, viste, mi padre murió con 97 años. Uh, I, Previous to this, I experimented with experimented urine therapy, as uh, Johnny had told me about it, and my father had used it uh, previously. So I started recuperating myself a bit with this, and then with the uh, Gans water, this was fantastic. Sí, este, la, las personas, mis amigos, se sorprenden de verme a mí. Todos me preguntan si yo me si me operaron de la rodilla. No pueden creer, como yo le digo así, tan simple, tomando agua nomás y aplicando los parches, ¿viste? Y, y ya le, yo le había dicho a Johnny que en dos años yo iba a estar curado, completamente curado, y no van ni ocho meses todavía y yo camino con una facilidad, subo las escaleras, no te voy a decir que corro largo, 
pero si yo te, pero en 50 metros, así, viste, al trotecito llego, lo hago muy fácil. Y antes, ya te digo, no podía caminar. Y prácticamente los dolores, eh, si me quedaba sentado no me podía parar, si me quedaba parado no me podía sentar, si me acostaba no me podía levantar. Era terrible, terrible. Y yo tuve que dejar la docencia, porque yo era mi profesor en la escuela industrial, porque no podía levantar la mano para escribir en el pizarrón. Pero... Um, well, he was describing the way uh, with the water, he was expecting to get rid of all the aches and pains in two years, but it's been eight months since he's uh, uh, drinking this water and he's got rid of all, all the pains and he can even trot along for quite a while. And uh, he had to give up uh, teaching. He was a professor at a technical school and he couldn't even la lift up his arms to uh, write on the, in the blackboard. So right mm -hmm. now he's very happy and his, all his, the friends he crosses down, in the street, uh, down the street They can't believe the way uh, he's cured, and they ask him if he's been operated on. He says no; he's just drinking water, and this has cured him completely. He sounds very happy now. Could you ask your friend what age he is now? <laughs> Seventy-four. Sí, 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 setenta y cuatro años. En siempre fui de activo, viste, y ahora este Johnny ve bien que camino diez kilómetros por día con mucha tranquilidad. Llevo las bolsas del mercado de 5 kilos cada una en cada mano, o sea, un poco más, con, sin ningún problema. También este, tengo la facilidad que un amigo tiene casa en la playa en el Brasil y todos los meses se va, ¿viste? Entonces yo todos los meses me voy con él y camino descalzo en la arena. Ya que de ahí este, también todo ayuda, ¿no es cierto? También tomamos, o sea, yo tomo este, antioxidantes. ¿Viste? Y muchos yuyos, los yuyos que hay que dicen que es para movimiento, yo tomo y recomiendo a todos. Y he llevado esta agua al Brasil, he llevado a, o sea, yo personalmente llevé a Brasil eh, para una chica que da el tratamiento para que adelgace, ¿viste? Y he llevado a Córdoba, he mandado a Córdoba, a Posada, que queda acá en nuestra ciudad capital, a unos 100 kilómetros, y las veces que yo ni me da le comento quién es más o menos como es los síntomas de ciertos amigos le llevo tengo un amigo que nunca pudo tomar agua en su vida cómo se dice vomitaba ah, devolvía Devo él devolvía el agua por ejemplo mate podía tomar vino o caña sí viste pero el agua agua natural no podía tomar se le trancaba en el estómago y con esta agua empezó a tomar esta agua y ahora toma tranquilamente la, la, la agua de de camilla, vamos a decir, ¿no es cierto?, el agua corriente. Pero ese chico, yo me acuerdo de criatura, no tomaba agua. You sound uh, very, very lively. I understand yeah. maybe 20% of what you're saying, but you sound very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's taken this water over to Brazil. He normally goes about once a month or every two months with a friend of his which, who's a doctor. And the doc this doctor can't believe the way he walks around. He goes down the, the beach there in Brazil, walk, walks on the sand, and he's also sent this water over to Corlo, which is a thousand kilometers away from here, and to Posadas, which is a capital from this province, oh, no. which is a hundred kilometers away. And, uh, and, and he took this water to another friend of his who couldn't ever drink any water during his life. He could drink any beverage, but he could never drink water. He would uh, vomit it immediately. And uh, with this water, he he's started drinking water and he's perfectly comfortable with it. Ever since he was a child, he could never tolerate water in his stomach. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing. And thank you for translating. Ah, bueno, sí, sí, algún día. Este, se puede hacer, este, que, que puedan ver mi, mi, mi cara, mi rostro, para que vean lo, lo que he rejuvenecido, lo, ju, lo juvenil que estoy. Espera, espera, espera un poquito. No le va a mandar por... Ah, bueno. <coughs> bueno, sí, sí, sí. Uh, a ver. Uh, he's asking if, he, if we could uh, show him on the camera here, so you could appreciate uh, his uh, well, he good health. 
Well, I don't yes, go ahead. Anything wrong with that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bueno. Show us your beautiful face. Dance for us. A bow. <laughs> no. Eh? Ah, eso, eso, eso es lo que te digo. Bueno, está tratando de... He's, he's joyful, you know? Yeah. ¿Sí? Ah, yo, pero tengo que mirar acá. Yes, I can see you. Hello. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola, sí. No, yo soy, como se dice, un neo. What a beautiful face you have. No, Ursula. No, Ursula, acá yo justo ese día no, no vine a lo de Johnny porque yo dije, voy a esperar que, que un día más voy, dice, para poder hablar mucho con ella, al final se fue antes. Yes, Ursula, um, I don't see your picture anymore. <coughs> Sorry, John, I don't see the picture anymore. Sorry, John. Did you get what I say? Ursula Colombier. Colombier. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí veo bien. Este, ¿me ves bien? Can you see me properly? Yes, I can see you properly. Muy bueno. Este, yo este estoy muy agradecido por en la vida haber encontrado un amigo como Johnny y haber encontrado el el, la fundación que es el viste que a mí me sacó no te voy a decir del cajón pero por lo menos este, he recuperado la alegría de vivir y los movimientos viste y lo transmito a todo el mundo llevo a quien pueda viste el agua este, los parches y porque gracias a Dios este, Johnny me facilita hemos tenido este, amiga mayor que yo este ¿Cómo te puedo decir gorda? Así que ya con... Ah, sí. Bueno, decíle vos. <risa> este, y, y, y van mejorando, no te digo tanto así como yo, porque yo ya este, prácticamente ya puedo correr, ¿viste? como yo le digo a Johnny, dentro. yo me puse en dos años este, correr la maratón del inmigrante que hay acá. Y ya uh, estoy para correr. <risa> he's proposed himself to a run a marathon uh, in two years time and he thinks he's just about ready to do so now. Wow, <laughs> sounds good. We you forgot look... him. Amazing. You look like 45 and a bit. <laughs> You're looking great. Uh -huh. He's beautiful. <laughs> oh, gracias, gracias. <laughs> Thank no, you for yo sharing. Quisiera, este, yo quisiera que me hayas visto unos meses antes como estaba. Era todo, eh, ahora está demacrado. demacrado, exactamente, ahora está mi cara se está rellenando, ¿viste? No estoy engordando de peso, al contrario, estoy bajando de peso. Y, y bueno, <ríe> más que agradecido con Johnny, con usted, y cuando quieran, este, yo puedo dar testimonio de donde quieran, porque en lo mío, eh, eh, como te puedo decir, es visible, todo el mundo lo ve, todo el mundo me pregunta, inclusive yo tengo amigos doctores, me dicen, pero ¿vos qué haces? Y bueno, yo <ríe> hago lo que hay que hacer, yo no receto este, de farmacia. Tengo, tengo recursos, gracias a Dios, hoy día con la gente quiere hacer el bien, lo que pasa es que el que quiere hacer bien no le dejan hacer bien. Ese es nuestro principal problema. Uh, a friend of his, uh, asked him what what did he do, and he says yeah, just drinking water. And the, the good thing about it, it's uh, if one has good friends who can help you out and give you the solutions to all your bad health, it's fantastic. They just can't believe it. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias, señor. Yeah, you have no, to gracias start. a ustedes y cuando quieran este y nuevamente agradecido acá a mi amigo Johnny por darme también la oportunidad de, de poder demostrar el agradecimiento, no solo mío, viste, porque hay gente que a, a partir de que me ven a mí, ayer mismo me da una amiga que ya este fin de año cumple los 50 años de casado y, me, y ya me dijo, bueno, vamos a bailar el, el bal de los 50. Ya, ya, ya cuando me vio a mí así, en un mes yo quiero que ustedes vean lo que, lo que se avanza en la libertad del movimiento. 
y, de, y prácticamente no tengo dolor, pero molestia sí, viste, así, qué sé yo, pero no dolor, dolor así que me, 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 inval, me inmoviliza. No, eso no. Si no molestia, qué sé yo, pues uno por ahí ya, ya está demasiado bien y quiere cabezudear, como decimos acá, viste, quiere loquear, pero bien, gracias a Dios, bien. Algo más para usted. Did you quite get the hang of the whole thing? No. <laughs> I think what he's saying, if he was a bit younger, he would get himself a girlfriend. <laughs> Taking this water to a, 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 a lady, a 50-year-old lady, which is pretty fat, and she's losing weight, uh, and she's expecting to have a good dance with him soon. Yeah, I was going to have him he, tell him he needs to start up a ballroom dancing. Dice que tendría que bailar en una baile grande. Sí, no, no, y justamente todos los años tenemos este un encuentro de jubilados, viste, de las Argentina, Chile, Brasil, Perú, Bolivia, Paraguay. Este, nos encontramos y bailamos hasta <laughs> que apaguen la vela. Dice, so once a year we have a a great meeting between the uh, old ladies and the gentlemen, uh, pensioners, who are from Bolivia, Peru, uh, Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, Chile. They all meet here once a year and they have a great big party. That would be wonderful for him to dance at that. And he's very grateful to the Kesha Foundation for for giving us this uh, good uh, teaching to be able to get good health for all these people. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, John, and thank you. Muchísimas gracias a usted. Buenas tardes para para usted. Para nosotros buenas tardes allá. No sé. Noche ya. Tardecita. Tardecita. Bueno. Hasta la próxima. Gracias. Até a próxima, graça. Wonderful, some interesting testimonials we had tonight. Do you have anything else, Flint, or is there anybody else in line that we have overlooked or would like to add anything before we wrap up? No, I think we had a good night so far. It's, yes, lots of wonderful testimonials. So, yeah, if anybody else out there wants to share one last thing, otherwise we'll do a wrap. Yeah, and we could announce our next meeting. I think that would be 14th of August, if I'm correct. Yes, that is right. Monday, the 14th of August. Yes, second Monday of the month, every month. And we're looking forward to hear from you again. And I'd like to say a big thank you and a big hug to everyone. I want to thank you. This is such a wonderful place to gather and hear the testimonials. I'm so grateful to you and Flint and to everybody that came and does participate. And I want to be one of those pensioners up in Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good, yes. Mm -hmm. So I say thank you, everyone. And um, I wish you a good, good night, good evening, good morning. Uh, Libby. Libby. Yes, yeah, Dad. On the 27th of September, there's a great ball here. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, either through teleportation or a passport, I will attempt to get there. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. There are three to four thousand people come along. Wow. Wow. Party time. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you, everyone. This has been the Cash Foundation Space Super Institute eighth public meeting for testimonials for Monday, July tenth, two thousand seventeen. So we'll see you on Monday, August fourteenth. Same. Time, same place. Bye-bye for now. Yes, bye for now. <laughs>